Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the winners finals of the MetaPlay Sentinels Pro League. This is gonna be pretty oh. cool. I'm Ranty 99 is going with Colony. And uh, EOD Spartan Sub is going with Decimus. And look to our chat. Oh, what just happened in chat? We just got a massive sub drop. 10 tier 1 gifts from Eformacio, and I think. That is actually going to complete our sub goal almost. Maybe completely. So, it hasn't updated yet, but I think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, we also have unlocked that. Amazing. That is crazy. And hype trains unlocked. Wow. Well, guys, this tournament has a $575 prize pool, which can be further increased by the community. If so, if you so choose, you can check out our website donation page for that. Amrante has played this matchup against um, EOD before, Colony versus Decimus. Do you want to talk about that a little bit, Kaboom? Oh god, that's good. Well, he... Uh, it wasn't actually these two players, so actually a week ago, not even a week ago, Almi played XCA in a show match, and be but before that, he was asking me questions about Colony, like, recommendations, uh, and he was specifically worried about this matchup. So I kind of gave him a little bit of tips. He played. It ended up being that exact matchup he's worried about, and I told him he played it like crap. <laughs> he didn't oh, listen to me. <laughs> so I'm hoping that he took the advice this time. He's gonna play a little better because Colony should win this matchup. Yeah, it, it's tough to sometimes deal with that vortex on the hero. Um, so with Ami now going for that hero, he's gonna have to be careful, <laughs> uh, not get overwhelmed. And Vortex at the same time. Uh, Miva chat's telling me to straighten them up and hydrate. I have been drinking water in these uh, cutscenes that we have for the maps. So I do that every time. Straightening up, yes. That is, uh, I'm bad with that. What I don't oh. like is Almi doesn't have a Bears. And you really want, on this map specifically, more than anything, you want a garrison. Or you want Goliath spam like crazy. Jeez, Scorpion lost with another 400 bits. Again, just a huge shout out for Epo Macio for gifting us 10 subs. That is bonkers. We are breaking the record of our Twitch hype train. Lots of support coming through again. You guys are always crazy. I love it. Whole staff loves it as this is what gives us the pizza money. So, Capitano is here. He's a chunky boy. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Because he found the found the War Council, so he can taunt the hero the moment it comes out, but he doesn't oh, yeah. really have to... Oh god, I hate that glitch. It just happened to all me. What, 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 what? If you, sometimes if you uh, click Y one too many times when trying to atta attach a skitter to the Hunter Captain, it'll force the Hunter Captain to use his Y ability. Oh no, because they're already part of the unit and you still have them selected. Right. Oh my mm -hmm. god, this could be a devastating. He dodges a, this stun though, I think. Because right now, it's like the moment there's a delay before the Honor Guard or the war nah, Warlord could have used his Y ability. Yeah, man. So not well, having taunt, he could have taunted before that. Yeah, it's kind of just runs it. It gets worse. Most of these engineers are healing that ran random grunt. What the hell is happening? They aren't going to prioritize the hero, and it goes down. This is a disaster. ELD has a straight shot to the main now with jumper fruits coming in. Oh my goodness, Ami is in so much trouble. Luckily for him, he's a lot of grunts. Finally on to the raid camp, which is what you want. You don't even want a Hunter Captain, if you can get it, is fine. But it's better to just have Grunt spam with a ton of Sui's. Or Goliath spam with a ton of Sui's on this map specifically. You can bulldoze Decimus pretty easily. This puppy lost with another bit cheer. Thanks so much, man. I mean, he's kind of running around with the Goliath spam. Here's where 
things get interesting. He really needs the skitters on more skitters on the Goliaths. Yeah, it, it gets harder and harder to use them without it. The skitters uh, against Decimus is usually just grunts, and then the warlord, which is a melee hero. So you can kite out pretty much everything of Decimus's army with skitters on any unit you want. Oh, we got an animation reset on the hero. This is brutal. And a stun on the generator even. Stops it from working for like 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, finally the Sui is here. So the hero is starting to take some major damage. Has to leave. Hami trying to go live down this base, but I'm not sure it's happening. I mean, he has free skits. That's a good start. The thing is, it looks like EOD will lose his uh, mini base. There's a lot of skitters here to clean up the grunts too, so the main problem is just that uh, warlord. Oh! Nice suicide connect there from Almy. More skitters are coming in. Hey, maybe this he is has got a I chance to bring it back. So let's see if he can kite out that uh, warlord. And we did grab the base. Ooh, that's a massive stun on all yeah, the runs. That radius is so big. And he just pretty much lost everything. He's got a Goliath drop on the main, but it tried to beam uh, counter, but it does just get split. For the most part. Skits are coming in. If he can get the skits on those Goliaths and increase their health bar, he might be able to hold this off for a little bit. Seems like that's I mean, the plan. That and the heal um, onto the back the, soon. And mini back too, so there's no mini right now for EOD, which is pretty big. He's single pumping on his base. Yeah, the counter attack is pretty serious too. This is where you, if you can probably kill this gen, but the problem is the Warlord is here, and he's probably going to be able to pull the Goliaths. You need to split your Goliaths a little bit, so you only get one of them pulled. Remember, uh, Decimus is one of the few leaders that does not have an active leader power that can heal buildings. His active power is Siphon. So this damage will stick for quite a while. But the Goliaths are not shooting the Extractor. He's hit the Extractor. Veteran skit. That's all we need more of. He might get it with the Skitters, oddly enough. Yeah, the Skitters way do they're pretty good base damage. Oh, they got it. Hold everyone but the one with the uh, <laughs> bet on it. Again, I'll be doing well with the minis. Yeah, he's going to you too as well. EOD having to get back the the power extractor. Like, this is a real problem for the man. Mm -hmm. Look at his power do, income. Yeah, what he can do is get back this mini base, but then the Hunter Capitano comes back with the tier 2 upgrade. He's probably gonna lose his this gen though, so it'll be. It'll be down to just. Or Almy, that is. We'll be down to just one gen. But he does have tech 2. Yeah, that's tough with the turrets, just preferring to shoot that garrison and doing nil damage. But he does have Boundless Siphon now. So that's, this is where Decimus can really hurt Colony. This is the only time where it's like very hard for Colony to deal with. Between 4th and 5th point. Oh yeah. Power extractor constructed. Yeah, this hero is literally oh, healing itself up on the Goliath. That's crazy. He does have a Goliath drop again, but what can you can really do with it. EOD will be stuck on tech 1 for a, a freaking hour. <laughs> Could get Spines rid of the blade cannon. His gen, but he's... Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Ami's play is just... Um, stay at home here, keep defending. He'll build up. Maybe just as long as he kills the Warlord, he'll be alright. Give me a Goliath drop here. Try to help counter. Probably the best idea. You're in the lead. As long as you kill the warlord, you're good. And you do. It's a 
Good Vortex. Yep. He actually keeps the enough. Ranger alive, too, which is big. Oh, yeah. And there comes why. the heal now. So, Extractor heal should be fine soon. Yeah, this is why Des I hate Decimus. It's that grunt. About 30 dead corpses before it finally dies. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty strong counter to turrets, actually. It's really a problem. Yo, do you finally getting a second gen? Look at that health bar for the ranger when the skit's attached. Oh, yeah. They are awesome. And that's only two models, by the way. Yeah. At some point, they'll no doubt heal up. I'd love to see Almi get a little bit more node control. I think that's part of his problem now. EOD has three nodes. Oh, yeah. Uh, he will kill that mini. He just needs to f somehow quickly move into the next leader point as fast as he can. Because you need, if you have the eco for it, you go for dev host 100%. If you don't have the eco for it, you just get uh, combat repair as per usual. But uh, dev host here can basically lights out a decimus if decimus is behind. I could imagine seeing a decimus drop from EOD on tier 1. As crazy as it sounds, it. It would help a lot against the devastating host, which I'm not sure how Mirant is actually trying to save up for. Uh, it looks to me like he's yeah, still spending a lot of money, so... You need an expo to be able to afford it. If he doesn't exactly. have an expo built up, it's not going to be a, something you can do. But you can pretty much counter it by making just a big ball with skits and uh, combat repair, because you'll pretty much make it an even fight with the Siphon. He's finally, at the 12.30 mark, he's finally Eight queuing up Tech 2. EOD is. That was a long tier 1, not because he chose it. <laughs> nice catch on those Goliaths again, but with the hero, like, there's no way that this Warlord isn't gonna heal up sometime. Or, not heal up, but, so, sorry, uh... Star up. Words are difficult. The enemy is trying to look against me. Oh, by the way, I never pointed it out. I think we finished at a level four hype train, so thanks everyone who contributed to that. I love the bunny emote. Does have hammer stun now on that warlord? It's gonna be a lot harder to kill. Um, he actually did go for combat repair immediately. It was totally fine. That makes these Goliaths harder to deal with because you can't kill them. Goliath drop is very hard to deal with once it has combat repair. You need something to basically one-shot him. Um, he's currently looking for the Expos. Doing a good job, Omi is just recapturing some nodes. He got two. He's working on the third one now. That's just a bunch of grunts from EOD. Like, he really does not have a standing army. Yeah, these Goliaths are very hard to kill, even with grunt mines. That's will kind of run it down though. But it, it takes a lot of them. He's gonna see that this expo is uh, over here and just just getting upgraded. Omi's expo is being upgraded as well. Omi just needs some supply because he's working towards dev host. I'm almost certain that EOD does have a. Uh, Desi drop, as we talked about. He's sitting on a. He's on fifth point now, and he doesn't have boundless raid or boundless fury. Oh, 
while she's having a cold here. I got all that rangers that Ami has. Ami oh 100% <laughs> needs a shield though. This is where I'm worried for him. Definitely gotta get a shield. Desi yeah, so cannot pull units under the shield, that's why. What well, is the next move from here? Those rangers are nice, but you drop a Giga Chat on him and the problems show up. Hero can also take a lot of shots. Oh, the uh, the the play is you just stack that post. That's if you just literally just keep keep the game moving along and just stack that post over time, you just win. Decimus can't deal with like two or three stack dev hosts and just True. attach skin to vet units. But I did it the Ami, other day on stream and just... He doesn't have the money really. and he's got it wrecked. <laughs> right, you only need two expos to make it happen, I should point that out. So, Or one expo, so you can do it off two base as long as you sit there and just don't get bulldozed by Decimus. We also have to have teleport, which I don't know that he has. Well... So you can avoid these type of engagements. He's got a good start of it, at least. Like, we have a one-star hunter captain. He can keep this going. That's huge. A beam. Oh, there's a vortex, actually. Yeah, the beam's already that's... taken out most of the engineers, so it is time to teleport out, if possible. Because this hunter captain's taking a beating. Oh, my God. Uh, you can't do that. The same way he lost last time. He lost his hunter captain at the worst time. Oh, we got the drop, Kaboom. With a triple Goliath attack already on the way. There's a lot of DPS right here. Yeah, the shield won't last very long at all. EOD's base is weakening fast. Not much healing around. Only healing is an engineer and a vet two reaver is gonna kill that. Goes for the locust first, which is the right play. The reaver jumps to the back to try to kill the engineer. There should be enough base damage to this to kill it. As long as you kill the uh engineer which you should yeah the decimus would need to pull away some units so that he buys some time no healing on the base right the second oh a lot of damage coming through still but engineer in the front is healing we were now targeting it can EOD keep the base going just a bit longer nope nope now you get you get that reaver out of there you need that thing so bad Might be able to keep the Wraith alive too. Uh, nice jumps. Yeah, Ami should be able to get away with a good amount of units here. Oh god. Oh, he didn't run after the jump. Alright, it's it's fine. It's fine. Not. <laughs> the only concern I have for Ami at the moment, because once he kills that expo, it's really hard. It also doesn't have any minis. He doesn't. It's really hard for Decimus to keep the pump going. Going tech three, but what are you really gonna build with that? Uh, is this expo off to Almi's side that EOD is trying to grab? If, EOD, if Almi doesn't recognize that that's there, then it might be a problem. He does see it though. Yes, Goliath drop as we already know. He's also not tech three, but he's about to be. Okay, just checking. Okay, double foundry coming in. So I mean, with tier three, will be able to pump those raves like there's no tomorrow. He's got a million skits to put on him. Um, where is the hunter captain, by the way? Middle. Oh, the in map. the middle. Yeah. Saving a node. Here's the glide drop on the base. He did find it. The one you want to make sure. He had basically knew he was like, I got the other expo, two expos. So I killed one, so I just gotta check. The last one and guarantee it. Well, the siphon upgrade's coming through for the warlord. It's gonna put him on tier three there. I have a real chunky health bar. The way Almi loses at this point is his, he just keeps his army so spread out that the warlord slowly kills him over time, gains veterancy, and can't kill a that warlord. It's really the main. Loss condition for all me, honestly. 
Now that he has dev host, he's gonna be able to con consistently bring this off of uh, cooldown. Look at the amount of skits Omni has. I hope he has those skits upgraded. Or you have so much wasted DPS. He has a lot of blue. I'd love to see another chin out of him. Reinforcements level. Yeah, cloak gens are a good way to spend it too. Uh, more wraiths coming in with the reinforcements upgrade done. That's so many skits, Kabu. Oh my god. Yep. Are they upgraded? That's what I don't know. I haven't checked. I said, he definitely needs that upgrade, though. Yeah. No, we'll be able to see it when they shoot. Dom is once again going for the space. He doesn't have an engineer on this armor, which is bad. Dom doesn't, or uh, EOD does know that this is coming. Dude, the UD yeah, Devos is probably pretty close to coming off cooldown. I don't think it's there yet. But this base is not going to have a shield yet. Oh, That's there's a, a scarab two. coming. Teleport Very nice teleport. Scarab, 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 scarab. <laughs> scarab out of EOD is not going to work. Yeah, the Hunter Captain alone can kind of deal a lot with that. That's... That thing right there that pulled the honor guard, or the hunter captain, is my main concern. <laughs> I swear. There's the scarab. Decimus drops off cooldown. Oh, imagine that. He still has a and drop on the field. You can just drop another one instantly if it dies. Big brain. Eat. I also hate that. Well, just like the other drops. <laughs> yep. A lot of raves. The scarab can kind of handle it. Yeah, Omi's Omi's floating enough uh, stuff to drop another dead post in, so I'm not too worried about that. He does hunter brand the base. That way, he can get the shield cracked. I really like the hunter captain just... in the garrison. By the way, that's a huge power move. Yeah. At this point, you could just kite out the army. I'm not even kidding. You can don't even worry about it. just kill all the pads. You can't heal them. But gotta be careful. Well, it looks like he's trying to kill that warlord. Yeah, and then he's gonna drop it and get it eradicated again. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, I hate it. Even if he does kill it, you actually don't want to kill it. Well, I, I mean the warlord, uh, not Desi. Oh yeah. Well, the he was the focusing was it, but then he, he's got so, such a strong self siphon. <laughs> it's just not happening. Okay, Omni's going for a tech switch. I don't love it, but it's an option. Okay. So Omni's not doing the drop in. As the scarab's a bit too spooky, but he did take out the turret to start. <laughs> Omni, you dumbass. What? was that <laughs> <laughs> the wall in front of his garrison it doesn't matter <laughs> uh shield's about to come back actually cloak gen on the base not shield killing that warlord would have helped though the desi drop just even though he would have dropped back in those cost a thousand thousand yeah you know there's the dev host again. It's on the other expo on the expo this time. On this okay, so I'll be playing the patient game, which is fair enough. In fact, he probably should. Oh yeah, it's coming in too. Teleporting in the warlord to try to pull one unit, but I don't know. I'm kind of worried for Almi. I don't know if he knows how to close this. Oh, he's getting there. Hurting this base at least is nice. If he can take down the shield gen, that's a big cost. But yeah, the Scarab is becoming a problem. At this rate, EOD will be able to level it up. 
It's got killing frenzy on it, no doubt. Yep. Army backed up. Don't know if he knows how to close this. Kind of worrying me. He also doesn't have. Oh, his hero is still alive, isn't it? Yeah, his yeah, hero is still alive. It's an oh, absolute giga chat. But it's gonna EOD be stunned. trying to auto good. cancel it. It's not work. It's slowly killing it. There it goes. Okay. And another wall behind for no reason. This is troll. I guess it keeps vision on the base. So if he wants to yep. do in a drop, if EOD leaves too much, that could be a good play. Uh, oh, Bro. oh! Airtime. Oh, I, yeah, I already know. That, that, that was a tech switch I mentioned earlier. A bunch of Banshees. Problem is, do you have the firepower to actually cut through right now? Now that he has Cloak Detect, or a uh, Cloak Gen. Sorry for being slow about noticing your comments, by the way. <laughs> oh, you're, you're good, I, you're good. But he does, EOD does know about the Banshee, so he needs to make this push quick. The Reavers are coming in. I am a bit drowsy today, sadly. Uh, anyway, these, how many Banshees is this? Maybe 15? Something like that. 17. 17. There we go. Looks like he's gonna go and try to kill that last base over there. Yeah, it's a good move. Built. Just don't let him free banshees for it. Why not? It's not like the ground units can attack it. The <laughs> biggest thing that Almy needs is he needs upgrades on his units. Like, uh, the. Yeah, there he goes. He's getting vehicle upgrade. But he also needs infantry upgrade. That way, the Vet 2 Hunters can put some strong DPS into the Scarab. That's what he currently doesn't have. Just finished Air 2. Got the plasma torpedoes, so that will take care of the engineers quick. Yeah, but he's also feeding that scarab veteran, see, which is another problem. It's a good thing the scarab's moving for him. At the moment, he killed by like four banshees without moving. Ami's on the other side of the map trying to push up on this expo. This I agree with, but it doesn't have much base damage, minus the Goliath drop coming in. Yeah, even the infantry upgrade on these Goliath drops would help out so much. Or you just upgrade the Goliaths themselves. Yeah, that would be super nice. Both of those upgrades are very valuable. He has the money, so why not? Um, Hunters getting upgraded from the infantry upgrade, also a big deal. But here come the Banshees, and it looks like together that should be more than enough to take out the base. Teleport in. Oh! The beam's doing work. Wow, those Decimus Hunters still doing so much damage to the vehicles. Watch that beam. So the Warlord is now bet one. Or the Warlord, the Decimus Drops now bet, bet, bet one. Yeah, that's been a while. I'm surprised it's not bet two yet, because it was already one star when it killed the Hunter Captain. And it's still going. That's a lot of Banshee losses, because Amirante didn't actually pop the NG shield. Uh, tough cookie. Getting a few buildings, but nothing big really has died. Shiojan even stays up. I mean, now grabbing the fourth base on the map. Again, he needs to... He, he can easily win this with just having a force, like, a 120 pop stack dead post. Problem is, he's got the Banshees right now. He can't do that. You also need to make sure you get all infantry upgrades, all vehicle upgrades, and just add skitters to all the vet units, and there's nothing that Decimus can do. The vet 2 hunters just, with all the upgrades, tear through that scarab so fast, it's, it's after a taunt, like, there's nothing he can do. Well, now the Desi even has a one star. I would love to see that hunter stack, for sure. I mean, the air is okay. You, you can run around and do some damage, but... And the hair is only good stronger. if you can catch him, like, and by surprise. Yeah, Which, yeah. now that you got Reavers, really kind of pointless. He upgraded this wall he did. Okay. Good thing a wall doesn't get better in C. <laughs> it does heal them up, though, if they're damaged. True. It does siphon. Power 
Yeah, yeah, he's not gonna allow this base to happen. Got some fairly well upgraded Reavers. I think they're level 2 there. I mean, only now getting Scorch. Where was Scorch this whole time? That would have been nice. Oh god, four Reavers against the air. It's only gonna go one way, I'm afraid. You can shake those Reavers, spin to win. They'll shoot faster, they'll dodge Banshee shots and Scarabs, one star. Oof. Base upgrade from army. It's gonna go up to the seven slots. More and more wraiths coming in. None of that drop stacking yet. He absolutely could do it. I stepped out for just a second, but I am back. No worries. I don't think anything's changed. No, actually, army is just building up. Finally, getting smart. But then so is EOD, you know, so it's tough with all these reavers. Ah, it's six reavers now. Sorry, seven. And uh extractor upgrade complete. Probably more on the way soon for EOD. Is he getting the pop upgrade? Nope. He, he is starting it now. And vehicle upgrade two finishing up soon. Yeah, the reavers, uh at this point EOD over pop reavers. So we'll see if that actually comes into play. And also, I think you said that one on the Scarab. That one on the Scarab doesn't mean much. Uh, it does, but it doesn't really. That too is where it gets like, ah, oh, okay, this is bad. Yeah, well, with all these Decimus buffs. <laughs> well. you know, everything multiplies each other. That was one of the best beams we've seen this whole time from the hero. And then a real beam to follow it up, but army teleports out, gets in the back. The Reavers now in the middle of the race, but they're getting stun locked. Oh my god. They're all, Out of this they're push, you really just want to kill that Desi drop. If you can get that, it's still a success, because you do not want that thing to get you getting better and see. Oh my goodness. But we lost it all. It, it's all gone. Yeah, at some point he's going to have to go Hunter or else he will lose. He's around the other side of the map killing the fourth base or third base again, but Ready to crush the enemy. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean needed that little win. Uh he needs a lot more of these. I'm under fire that scarab can't be too far away from two stars. Like with the veterans he's stacking up as well, but uh with the Boundless Fury, stacking up with the uh, uh, Killing Frenzy. That's a, a lot of little perks to have. And it heals. Personal experience, I can tell you that Ami does not do, deal well at this position. Yeah, he doesn't play in this setup a lot. I don't think. He's it's usually kind of aggressive. I don't know. I don't see a barracks on the map, which is disappointing. Well, maybe he can watch this and uh, get some insight. I had a clip a video I had the other day during a game where I did pretty much spelled out how to win this matchup as Colony. Send it to him. This is the second time I've watched him just get demolished in this matchup. Leader power awaits. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that that is what's happening at this point. Uh, some of the hunters are starting to gain veterans for EOD. Like, that's crazy. He's getting infantry upgrade level 3, by the way. And vehicles level 3. So his mixed army here is just <laughs> about to reach full potential. Yeah, he also has way more blue than Almi does. I think Omi's starting to get the hint, though. 
He built. He dropped the dev host in and it hasn't attacked, so he just put it on cooldown and gonna do it again. Upgrading his expos now. Yeah, when he has some money, getting beam cannon would be nice. Just for that little bit of extra damage on the hunters. Dina working on the fortify upgrades. I actually don't like that Ami is sacrificing the locust there. That would have been nice to have. Oh no, that's one of the ugliest bugs in the game. Ami just paid for his uh, hunter's brand on that base and lost out of sight, and it went on cooldown without firing, of course. Yeah, that was fixed for glassing beam, but not this. Big shame. Here's the Wraiths, EOD's base is absolutely gonna melt, there's no question about that. But what happens with the fight? Ami's drop is not back off cooldown. Should probably save the Capitano there. Oh, he's not donated, what the heck? Two stars now on the Warlord. Ay -ay -ay. That's not good. He only healed up the scarab on the walls, by the way. Our Armorante finally, finally upgrading infantry. At least he's getting beam cannon, which is huge. Nice. Okay, fortified two as well, in case he gets counterattack. But yeah, where's the global upgrades on the infantry? Hopefully that's coming too. Watch that power dropping. If it does. Okay, the Reavers might get bullied out of this with the Hunters. Oh no, they turned around before the last one gets tapped there. Unfortunate. Yeah, you can just see the difference between the two Hunters. One has skill, one doesn't. The, the health bar is insane difference. Oh yeah. And that just contributes a lot to the healing. It's actually got two skits. Very nice. Uh, but, but but yeah, the higher your base HP is, the better any heal will be in the game. Because it's all percentage based. Uh, 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 taunt. There we go. Eventually it happens. Of course, you can still use these special attacks like the pull. Finally, that Decimus looks like it will go down, but EOD has resources for days. Ami defocusing yeah, it. He teleported like nowhere. Yeah, it seems like that's fine. He's still regenerating it with the Bound of Siphon. Beam level 3 coming down. Wrecking two Wraiths right away. Not the best of attacks, but we got another dev host. There's another dev host. Yeah, this is more of what Almi needs to do. He will kill the warlord, so it takes the veterancy off that. Even if he can drop it back in, it's a fine. This is like a long-term play. Kills the, the base as well. But here's the thing: He's the is too. Topping the crap out of these units. Oh my god, the dev host units getting beamed. Oh no. Hunters are gone already. The important thing now is to kill that warlord. The, like I said, scare by itself is not that, not that big a deal. You gotta kill that warlord. He doesn't have teleport. I'm afraid he's got another shield. It's healing itself up. Yugi is wiggling for the mass stompage. And the warlord is getting away from him. 
Oh my god. Scared I'm just happy to heal up with the falls again. Oh. But you can see the amount of damage you can put into the Scarab. You, at no point was he ever focusing the Scarab down, and it yes. was at half health. So, oh. the veterans. Oh no, it's that three. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's like, like I, I, what did I say earlier? I'm like, the one thing I'm worried about with Almi is he letting that thing get veteran C. That's what happened. Yeah, well, the Scarab's probably next. That's the big issue. Like, it's healing itself back up now. There's still NGs. Uh, you will rebuild. <laughs> Help me just sack the whole wall just so you couldn't heal all of it. Good. He should not keep dropping it. it, it it's not working. He's also getting infantry upgrades finally, like I said, but now it's infantry level 2. So that whole fight, he only had infantry right level 1 with those hunters. Yeah, it would have been nice to kind of just leave it alone and, uh, you know, keep using Devastating Host on your own race uh, so that they get buffed. At least it's a little bit of extra range and vision for them, so. Yep. I'm just trying to try else. to come back in. Leader power. Yeah, the that's another thing. The later this game goes, you'll be able to upgrade uh, vehicle symbiotes and symbiote a whole wraith army at once. That makes a huge difference. I don't love that taunt, though. You want to taunt when the scare doesn't have shield. But it's fine. Well, we're starting to kind of get into the one-hour territory, at which point we would... I'm not even sure what to call this here. Like, Ami's the one attacking, but... Well, if, if VOD can't control this base, then he'll lose. It is the base, By the way, that yeah. Scarab is falling. That's a great Haunter Ooh. brand, because it can hit the base and the Scarab. Scarab's dying. It was a level 3 as well. Can he save the Scarab? That's too much here, I think. The Engineer's think trying he'll... maybe an active Siphon? He Has did he already. It? Ah. Yeah. Scarab's dead. This is a trade you'll take all day long. Absolutely, man. This was the one hope for EOD to keep going, but now the Braves are too high in number, and they're pushing his hero real hard. That free star. Warlord, I don't think he can make it, dude. Unless he does teleport. <gasps> oh he did God. not make nope. it out. Didn't, didn't get it. There's and a there is Finally, the Finally, <laughs> oh, he's getting got somewhere yeah see as soon as he got those upgrades just like you said it makes a huge difference so yeah the, the hunters just don't take a lot of damage from the scarab and if you up their health pool they're gonna heal fast so fantastic and we're here with game 2 Amaranti 1999 is playing as Arbiter in the blue car must have power. harvester constructed I was looking at chat. We have EOD in the red corner as Forge. Supply pad upgrade complete. That's all good. So we've got looks like almost all grunts from Army. Just grunts, no ghosts. I mean, it's a quick way to get the resources gathered. Won't be able to do a mini base deal. EOD is uh, really quick on the draw on that one. Generator constructed. My God. Okay. Why? My whole system just crashed for a second. I'm back though. Oh. Well, if it works, my it game. works. My game's playing catch up. What? What's your time? Uh, one minute twenty-seven. Okay, finally caught Generator up. All right, we're complete. good. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. So I'll make Did double he... gen. I think UD is thinking about it too. Saving up right now. Probably. This does give Almy the advantage because he's already into the double gen plus the upgraded gens. Yeah, good choice to forego that second mini base to get it done faster. I like it. So yeah, in this matchup, we've seen this before in this tournament, uh, but I guess we can expect a lot of phantom play. No early hero this time around. 
from our arbitrary yeah, player. Forge did win this matchup. Liam beat EOD's uh, arbiter. Yeah, you certainly have the tools to be able to win, but it's very oh, much sure a timing Zimian. thing. Mm -hmm. But this time, EOD is the Forge, not the Arbiter, so we'll see how he does on the other side of this matchup. Our base is under attack. Augmented Harvester upgrade complete. Yeah, Ami is playing a very different kind of Arbiter than EOD was, too. This is super standard right now. Getting an early raid camp out, actually. Still with the double gen, so he wants some enforcers after all. Getting a lot of the harvesters. Double it's because enforcers. He's, he's the expo. Okay, Ami. Ami really playing this game reactively. Should be able to take down minis after that, too, but there will be a four chog. So do need a good number of these. He's gonna be the one on top of no control though. He's already killed one. Oh. Now it's gonna be two, so he's gonna be up two to nothing. There's Forge Hog, like you said. Grunt in the garrison is gonna take a little bit of time to kill. EOD with the scout on the high ground above it. Uh, the expo of Almy. They see the enforcers. Which is pretty good against Marines in garrisons. Not gonna take too, too long to good Vision control. If you toggle vision, he has a lot of it. Oh yeah. He even has the high ground with the jackrabbit. Okay, that's yeah. gone now. <laughs> that. That's a big deal though. Let's see if Ami goes tier two now. Ochog coming in with a blast. This will just allow him to kite for a long time. I like the Jackrabbit addition to the Forge Hog here. Uh, as Forge, you kind of don't have to yeah. upgrade the Jackrabbits. You can just kind of rely on the Forge Hog's boost. But, uh... Yeah, the hero stuck, man. Yep. And stasis again and again. Oh, he can run... He allowed him to get... Okay, never mind. You can circle him again for some body block him. He's trying to body block him now. Yeah, there's just two Might grunts, man. Opening? Oh, that's one way to open it. Okay. Goodbye, grunts. Oh, this is an absolute massacre. Very, very you well done by Yodi. Kill that, uh, hero. It's got more units coming in. Doesn't take a whole lot more. Oh, we oh. saved it. I cannot believe oh this. God. EOD, the second time in this tournament. But this time, he also wiped an entire army in the process. Dude, Ami is not going to attack that base anytime soon. He's going to, too. Big investment from Ami uh, with that double barracks. Like, that could have been just a normal fast tech and probably more comfortable that way, actually. Anyways, time for Phantoms. Phantoms, Rangers, Elites. The whole shebang. Yeah. So has some of the units left. He has mostly the enforcers left, so those phantoms are going to be very difficult to deal with. The one thing about this uh, Forge Hog living, and this happened in another game I casted last tournament or something like that. The problem with this Forge Hog living for EOD is there's no easy way to heal it, so it's actually when he needs to kill it, Almy like, absolutely needs to kill it, it'll be easier for him to do so. Harvester constructed. But yeah, EOD does have to rebuild it, but by now he would have already rebuilt it, and now this uh, this one he's got has almost no health. I'm being engaged by an enemy ground vehicle. As for EOD, he's probably quite interested in pumping out Marines now. Yeah, he's massing them, upgrading the Forge Hog, and next up should be seeing a lot of Wolverines, maybe a handful of Nightingales. Like you said, not easy to heal the Forge Hog, but necessary. So you can throw those grenades out with these phantoms up on the high ground. Yeah, those pads are gonna have to say goodbye. 
We've got Arbiter's Champion done. The actual hero is not out yet, but as soon as it's out, uh, that's going to help as well. For now, enjoy the fully squatted up Enforcers. Phantoms. Nearly full pop now. And that's why I'm starting the hero work. It's gonna be Wolverines, it's gonna be Hornets. I like the Hornet edition. I do wonder how that will do. Uh, Army doesn't have a lot of grunts. This could work. Horses actually do a decent amount of air too, but not nearly as much as grunts. Yeah, yeah. I have set my ground forces. It's going to get a scout off on the other expo to find that it's not been taken. Well, that's okay for Ami. He can go back and hit the mini base. Very difficult for EOD to actually respond to stuff like that. But it seems like he knows. Trying to defend the main home base. And then there's Wolverines here as well. EOD has the armor in the back only, so it's not a big deal to lose it. Still doesn't want it to happen. That's a nice kill on that Phantom and might get a second one actually. Wolverine chasing. Oh, the Marines flanking. That's awesome. That's a great catch. Should be able to kill a couple Wolverines for the trade, but I already killed one. Yeah, I mean, made the best of that, but if he had a teleport or something, that would have been even better. Beauty grabbing two bases, both expos on the far sides at the same time. Yeah, man, he's so good at this, actually. He just keeps hiding his scout every time. And uh, while that can distract, he can also take the power nodes, and then he actually does a real attack. So he's definitely keeping Ami busy here. Going that Incarnate is about to be done. That's when the Arbiter hero really goes bonkers. Full pop again for our Arbiter player. And EOD has a lot of resources. Uh, probably thinking about the Grizzly drop. Under from enemy vehicles. Reinforcements in. One almost in. Reinforcements level one research. That's the thing with the Marines, you very easily lose them, so once the population goes down, Yodi yeah, can do his big drop. I'll be turning back, trying to boost speeds up with the Arbiter. That's a lot of marines. The enemy's infantry is targeting me. Well, he got his own hero stuck in that. Here's the grizzles, kaboom. Looks like there's a mine in, in the middle there. So they're gonna get stasis. What it is with all of this doesn't like shields. <laughs> yeah, whatever that is about. <laughs> Does this quite a bit. Be super helpful to have it. Oh, the Reaver getting rid of the Nightingale is a good start here. Trying to heal the base, but the the Grizzles, man, they're putting out a lot of damage. Yeah, but the Phantoms have kind of been sitting in the back. Oh, what? Wow. That might help though. Gonna kill the Arbiter Hero. That's a big deal. Ami just didn't. Didn't want to sit behind a shield, I guess. Yeah, well, he's gonna pay for it very dearly, it looks like. The Marines doing their best to heal up that Grizzly. It's kind of working out. Yeah, no upgraded turrets or anything either. That's a big deal as well. Actually, goes mass cloaking because he doesn't have any detect. But not gonna matter. 
Army loses that base. Yeah, it's a huge loss. The income's completely gone for Army. He's only at 46 population trying to go tier 3, but like he can't afford graves. EOD, meanwhile, building up on these extra bases he bought. Already upgraded. And he can just yeah, push just push gun. Main, yeah, Army has zero turrets. This is another problem. Army just doesn't build turrets or shields or nothing. He just. It's bizarre to me. This is something he does all the time. It's just a. Yeah, very aggressive hey. player. He just hopes that his attacks work, but then they don't, and the other guy can turn it around very quickly, like EOD just did. Uh, I think EOD played this super well. Like, he caught those phantoms and immediately went for the punish. It was clean. Not to mention that early four charge. Wow. Time for a game free. Amarant is going generator first here with Cutter. Very interesting. With a jackrabbit too, by the way. That's hard to uh, keep the eco for it. Yeah, especially on Frontier where you need so much of it and the chopper will be out from EOD over here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh, EOD, obviously in Colony. Um, on the red side. A jackrabbit does go to the side to get the power. He does not have enough for another pad if he... Yeah, he had to grab some supply. Gen first on this map against Colony is extremely risky because if you just go chopper skit and you get your units caught trying to grab supply, you are going to be so far behind. Chopper skit on this map is very strong. Supply pad upgrade complete. Yeah, you're just getting the front base immediately. Two of them, so he's not rushing. But if he knew... Yeah, Almi uh, is actually doing double Harvester upgrade. I actually like that here. You're gonna need a lot of supply to pump out units as Cutter. Yeah, and he then going into Spartan. Spawn, nice. spawn. Mm -hmm. And because of this, he's done, he will have enough uh, power for... Just shy, but he won't be too far behind on power because he went gen first. Yeah. The Spartan is a pretty nice power. way to hold uh, Goliaths. It's the Hunter Captain that will be a problem. Yeah, but you, you can shut the Hunter Captain down by the multiple versions of your stun. As long as you avoid the taunt with the Hunter, uh, with the drone. This cutter can really overwhelm Colony on a small map like this. Yeah. Uh, because of his just extra speed he has. Supply pack and ODST drop. Harvester constructed. I'm assuming that says in chat, when does Mar play? Not Maria. Uh, the game Maria. happened off stream. We're not going to cover that this time around. I'm sorry. And Mar did lose to Liam 2-1. to one. So Liam is waiting in the loser's finals for the uh, Rabbit, unfortunate pressure. loser of this series. That'll be a best of three. Very nice big old micro on those grunts buying some time. The only thing I didn't, the thing I really hate for Almi here is the fact he doesn't have a center for me. Yes, that's like, it's tough. almost a necessity. But it looks like he's just gonna try to run down straight to the main. If he catches the the fort, or the uh, hunter captain without a upgrade. He doesn't have taunt yet. Doesn't even have a skitter attached yet. Now the skit he can fix. But yes. no taunt, that's a problem. Uh, it's underway, but he'll take so much damage in the process, he'll already lose the shields. Yeah, and Almi's streaming units across the map. He does have hijack now. Hijack gets in, so that's gonna be a thicker health bar. So this is the thing, if, like, if the, honor, the hunter captain's alone without any support, that is a honestly just a wasted heal. Sniper's oh wow! Here, did wait? Did he actually lose the hero? No, it's slammed in. Okay, I was like, where did the hero go? By the way, that honor hunter captain's dead. Yes, but it looks like it's gonna be a cleanup unless uh, you know, he walks he's over those mines. Mine. Oh my god, yeah. that's devastating. Yep. He's still a sniper here too, so there's a lot of DPS into this infantry army. He's Although so hard that to take the hero, but now suicide grunt. Maybe. Been a lot of damage to the hero. It looks like it's gonna survive. But he can just go over to the healing node. 
Also, these uh, suicide grunts are more costly than you'd think. 80 and 40 is actually a lot when they're just getting picked off by uh, snipers and marines. That's a full heal on the spot, and then. <laughs> yep. And honestly, you can just go around and get veterancy on that thing if he wants. Yeah. He already knows he's way ahead. He can go clear some nodes. They attack. Might as well. All these marines getting healed up too. It's a big deal. Doesn't have to go and kill EOD right now. But like you said, just farm XP. Then take minis. Uh, Ami kept his armory this whole time. Should yeah, definitely get that a... for probably a Rax. Yeah. Should be pumping like crazy now because you know you're gonna have more units with ODST. Forcing your opponent to spam suicide runs again is also costly. Could imagine another ODST drop there on the okay. Hunter Captain. That would be Let's actually see. super strong. Again, mm -hmm. does not have skits. So this would well, be a good at 72 population. Oh, he can't then. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot for uh, right now. So many Marines, flame and he's, he's got so much money. He definitely needs to, like you said, sack the army, build another gen. Hitter trying to get on that Goliath. Uh, uh, that, oh, that COVID. Nice, nice Hunter Brand, but there's a lot of units here. Eventually, the taunt will wear off on the hero, and he'll be able to slam that unit again. That Hunter Captain has no support here. Yeah, it's always surrounded by ODSTs now, and here comes the Spartan Slam on top. Too late. Oh, that hit, heal. Kind of a waste, because that's a lot of blue that thing costs. Yep, and and that's, that's that. Uh, Ami moving on into the Grand Finals, and EOD's going to have to face Liam in the Losers Finals. Nicely rounded out. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind the scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.